Hello, I'm David Hibbins from Harcourts Cooper & Co and welcome to the uh, North Shore Market Wrap. Well look, it's Friday, it's the 22nd of September, we got the stats out for the uh, week. It's been a very busy week, I'm here on location in uh, Little Shoal Bay. Great, uh, great outlook, beautiful view out over the uh, Auckland Harbour Bridge there, but let's get stuck into the results because that's what you want to know. Now, the median sale price came in for August at a million and seventy-one thousand. So the previous month it was a million and fifteen. So we've seen a rise in the median sale price. It's actually up five point five percent month on month, and it's two and a half percent up uh, on uh, year on year. So uh, it was a million and forty-five back in August two thousand and sixteen. So median number of days to sell at the moment on the North Shore is thirty-eight days. The month prior to that it was forty-two. Year on year it was thirty-three days. If we look at the same month. A year ago. Now 287 people sold their properties last month, 277 the month before that. It's slightly down on the 399 sales that were recorded the same month for August year on year back in 2016, but still quite a good volume of real estate which is being transacted considering um, it's, uh, it's an election week um, and obviously in the lead up to the election. Now $383,476,726 worth of real estate transacted last month on the North Shore. So quite a healthy and respectable number. Now in terms of what's happened over the last week, the highest sale price we achieved for the week was for a property at 59 Sylvan Avenue in Northcote. Now that's right up on the ridgeline, great outlook over the CBD and out over the water there. But it was a 1960s cottage, very much love, but needing some love and attention. Um, definitely of its era. That went for $1,710,000 at auction. Now the most affordable property that sold for the week was for a uh, three bedroom 1960s weatherboard in Eskdale Road off a long right of way. That went for $658,000. So hey, great buying opportunity there. Obviously needing a lot of work. Now in terms of the auctions, we sold 19 properties at auction for the week. So there's definitely a lot of momentum out there. A lot of selling under the hammer. Some are selling afterwards. Of course, some aren't selling. If buyers aren't participating or if owners aren't listening to the market and the bidding's fair, then, then, then obviously no sales are being achieved. But the reality is 19 sales, good and healthy number of properties sold uh, for the week at auction. 18 properties sold on a conditional basis, so that's where people put in conditions and owners accept that offer subject to those conditions being met. And we had 27 properties sell for the week on an unconditional basis, so buyers coming in and paying a, uh, a cash uh, a cash rate there. Now in terms of your interest rates, I'm looking every week, your, your floating rates hovering around about 5.82% is your median. The range is between 6.5 through to 5%, so it pays to shop around at your banks in terms of what's on offer. Your two, two year fixed rates are, uh, the median's about 4.99, but again you can get cheaper. They range between 4.29 to 7.25. Your five year fixed rate median is 5.99% and again your median, um, the range is 5.69 through to 8.55%. So look, I hope you found the information useful. If you're considering making a real estate decision and you'd like some professional advice on what you need to do to your property or you need some assistance in, uh, in even buying a property or you just want to have a chat with regards to uh, your property and uh, the options that you may have, look then please feel free to contact me. My name is David Hibbins. You can get me on 021-353-075. Like me and follow me on Facebook and I'll see you next week.